Who are you really? Who are you behind the image that you put online for people to see? Who are you really? Who are you that that God sees? And God sees a real us. He knows our fears, our ups and downs, our our um, our uh, manipulation tactics, our um, our ways to make people believe in more than what we are. God sees in the spirit and in truth. So who are you really? A lot of us hide behind religion and or religions, and we get into different positions in the church or whatever your faith biblical preferences or be and we hide behind it and transform who we really should have become that's why people with titles in the church um, act the way they act because they normally have failed or haven't lived up or reached the pinnacle that they feel they should so now that they have a position and can make other people feel less than and push them up, they do. But it's like, but God knows you for real. God knows what you do in the dark, when the camera's off, when the lights is off, and you know, when you're not in the building. And I'm learning, you know, things about myself being a Christian man. It is, it's, it's, it's the hardest job in the world to me because so many things tempt us. You know, um, we read the word, we know what's true and and those type of things, but like, we still fall. And sometimes we rely on grace and mercy too much. So we make decisions in the heat of the moment. We allow um, sin and um, the awesome feeling of sin to override our circuits to go against what we know God has already set in an in instruction not to do. And then we don't think about our decisions that hurt or who's looking at. Like, the thing that's crazy is a lot of people don't want to be like, well, I'm not Christ-like, I'm not this, I'm not that. Don't follow me, follow Christ, but we're the example. And it's really hard to be an example because there are times where you don't feel like being examined. So you can be the example, but people don't understand it's examining 